To the Gulf tonight, the contingent flew out on two Hercules from Whanuapai near Auckland this morning where friends and family shed tears as they watched them go. The 46 members of our Air Force unit will be based in Riyadh working with the British. The unit's main task is to provide transport within the Gulf and it's not expected to be involved in any frontline fighting. But if and when any fighting will occur has been disputed by a top U.S. commander in the Gulf. He says American troops may not be ready to strike at Iraq until mid-February, a month after the U.N. deadline for Iraq to get out of Kuwait. But the White House says its forces will be ready to act when asked. The warning that American troops will not be combat ready for attack on January the 15th may make Saddam Hussein think he's got more time to play with after next month's deadline. That cannot please President Bush, but a former commander in the region agrees the U.S. troops do need until mid-February. Even after all our forces are there, it's going to take up to a month to get fully combat ready to fight in the desert and conduct an operation as complex as an offense. However, two senators just back from the Gulf believe that if and when there is a war, America will win it quickly. I personally think that if there is war, it will be a short one that will last no more than five days. If we cannot gain air superiority within six hours, let's say, wipe out their missile sites and their command and control centers within two, three days, then something is wrong with our defense structure. Defense Secretary Dick Cheney is in the Gulf at the moment and hearing first-hand assessments from his commanders there. The fact that one of them believes American forces won't be ready for two more months is perhaps not surprising, but the fact he said it in public certainly is.